What's going on, everybody? It's me, Sean, here at Uncultured With. Yeah. And here we are with the last fragrance that Ashton from Gensense did with uh, Michael Malal called Edgewater. Um, it's another one I really don't want to review, but I told myself I'll review everything that I get because different perspectives from different people kind of give you a better insight to what's available, what's going on, yada, yada, yada. We all know the, the whole trail, right? So the packaging is the exact same as it always is from Michael Malal. Bottle's the same as it always is from Michael Malal. Because he is intent on being as boring as humanly possible. Uh, the cap is almost straight on this one. And again, it's not the cap, it's the actual sprayer. Yeah, could not be more put together to shit. <laughs> Anyone's life depended on it. And again, great sprayer. Fantastic smelling fragrance. Now, let's take the diaper off and shit all over it, because it's that time. All right. Michael Malal. How on earth can you stay in business making fragrances that die quicker than anything? Honestly, I've never had so many fragrances from one place just shit the bed so fast <laughs> it's quite frankly it's fucking embarrassing that i even i, I should have known better but you know i love ashton right to death he's a great guy he's probably one of my favorite fragrance youtubers he's i love his his dry humor and his sarcasm he has a great nose I, i've gotten plenty of bottles behind me because ashton talked about it and he's usually pretty well on point when he's talking about stuff except for when he talks about his own stuff apparently yeah I mean, it does smell good. It smells fantastic for about four hours. Yeah. So essentially, you're going to be stuck paying $140. So that's... Oh, fuck. Has it been a long day? I'm not mathing very good right now. Like $35 an hour. Yeah. So let's talk about what isn't in this. Stuff that makes it last a while. Other than that, the kitchen sink is in there. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't understand the note breakdown because most of it I am not getting whatsoever. But here's the note breakdown according to damn near everybody on the planet. And Frank Rantica. I only checked it because the stuff that's on the back of this, they basically just copied because, well... Laziness wins. It's the way it is. Fuck it, right? Apple. Bergamot. Black pepper, which is not there, by the way. Spicy mint, which is also not there. I love mint. If there's mint in it, I will know. Because it's the first thing I get drawn to. I love mint. I was so excited. I was like, ooh, another mint fragrance. That's a spicy mint. I'm very excited. And then I got it, and I was let down as you can tell i have worn it a bunch i was hoping to have something better to say about it because it's like man every one of his fragrances i've had to shit on and uh i don't like to do that <laughs> I, especially if it's just like one house it's like i'm picking on him at this point right he used to say you'll never see it, it at least i'm never gonna buy again a michael malone fragrance because no if I do, it, it, you know, shame on me, shame on me, shame on you, whatever the hell, shame on you, shame on you, shame on me. Lots of shame. Yeah. Hmm. It's like butt sex gone wrong. But anyway, uh, it's just horrible. It, 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 that mint not being there, the black pepper not being there. Matter of fact, all you really get is like, a fruity powder. <laughs> that's, that's it. Fruity powder. So let's go on to, let's keep going on to things that aren't in it that it says are in it. 
cinnamon. I've been watching my fragrance related content over the last, I don't know, eight years and different things I've been doing with it. I love cinnamon. It's not there. Cinnamon you don't mistake. <laughs> it's, there's only one thing that smells like cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not in there. It's just not in there. And it's another one of the fragrances I absolutely love. So again, when I see this breakdown, I'm like, oh, Ashton's playing my cards, man. And it just, nope, 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 nope. We got cardamom and we got grapefruit. Grapefruit is in there. <laughs> I'll give them that. They, you, you got some kind of citrus fucking around in there. Then you get into the uh, the mid, middle of it and uh, let's see, you got lavender, a little touch of that. Lavender, little, no. Fig leaf, yes. That I will give them. There is a great fig. Sort of like, uh, what's it called? Philococcus? Phil Philosocus? I don't know. I, get, I never could pronounce a damn thing. Sort of like that. It's like just a really great fig note. I will say that I will give them that. The fig note is great, especially when it smashes with the coconut. It That's the highlight of this whole fragrance, but it goes by so freaking fast. <laughs> I can't enjoy it. It's a bummer. It literally is a bummer. And uh, again, they should just be fucking embarrassed. I mean, you look at this note breakdown. This thing should just be an angry beast of awesomeness. And it's not. Again, a chipmunk could fart and you'd never smell this stuff ever. Ever. <laughs> you wouldn't have to get crop dusted. It could fart three towns away and you'd be like, I smell shit. Didn't you just put on some fragrance? Yeah. I smell shit too. I don't smell your fragrance. Like, no shit. <laughs> Uh, and it's got cumin in. Let's, no, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not in there. Sage, I'm going go with that's not in there either. You know, Tamir, Pagan, and Saffron. No. <laughs> There's nothing that's making this woodsy and spicy whatsoever. <laughs> it's just not happening. At all. Again, this note breakdown that's been published should cause people to be fucking embarrassed because it's not in there. And if it is in there, uh, joke's on me because I, I've been around fragrances for a very, very long time. I've been I've been into fragrances since I was 16 years old, and I'll give you a little clue. I'm old as shit, all right? I've been doing this for a minute, not the videos and stuff, but I, I've been into fragrances before I even knew you make videos and get yourself in a lot of trouble if you say bad words. All right, the next scent that we all know that I love, if you've been watching my stuff, is tobacco. <laughs> not there. Sorry, not there. I've got no less than 50 fragrances that have tobacco behind me. And I can smell the tobacco in every single one of those. I cannot smell it in this. It just smells like juicy baby powder. Citrusy baby powder. Sandalwood, heliotrope, cedar, patchouli, vanilla, and tonka bean. I'd almost say the vanilla is in there because it is very sweet. But it just... It's a fucking shit show, man. <laughs> and it's irritating. I know I shouldn't be irritated, but I'm more like I'm irritated for Ashton. Because he's very good at what he does. If you've never watched his content... Things I'm saying about this fragrance, do not associate that with what he's actually doing on his channel. He does a really good job. And he's not like the other YouTubers. He's a little different. You know, and it just doesn't make sense to me why he's involved in this. Because his fragrances that he did before this were fantastic. They were kind of like on the, they were outsiders fragrances. They're definitely the write-ups and stuff for the people to make it had to come from someone with a little bit of fucking imagination and a love for fragrances. This is not that. I don't know if they have his hands tied or what it is, or if this is a way for him to like recoup his costs 
from possibly not doing so well with his brand. I mean, when I got his, I was paying like $10 a bottle. They're basically giving them away, which is sad because they're some of the best fragrances on the planet. It's really, really sad. This is nothing in the league with those. And the sad part is this is more expensive than those things were, I think, even when they were a regular price. I really don't know. I, uh, I try not to buy too many fragrances from YouTubers just because of this. Yeah. Every time it bites me in the dick. Every single time. And I don't get it. This is a fragrance reviewer. You're trying to show people stuff that performs, that has high quality, that sets a standard, and helps you set yourself apart. And then you come out with fragrances that do none of those things. What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it bums me out, man. It really does. And like I said, I, I really do like Ashlyn. Uh, Ashlyn. Jesus Christ. Ashton. It's a weird name, man. I'm not used to saying that. I have too many female friends with names that sound almost like it, and it slips out every once in a while. So I'm not saying that to be a dick and make fun of him or anything. He really does seem like a really cool guy, and he does know his stuff. He's usually right more than he is wrong. Uh, his opinions, especially when a fragrance is garbage, that's really, I think, what irritates me the most is Ashton knows when something's not worth it. And he's standing behind this, and it makes no sense to me because he's better than this, in my opinion. Maybe I set my standards too high for him. I don't know. But I'll continue to keep watching his stuff. And if he does fragrances outside of this Mullel guy, I'll, uh, I'll check it out. But I'll never buy anything else from Michael Mullel. Because I now have what? Four of Ashton's, I think three of theirs, and all of them are fucking turds. Not a single one of them perform. One of them does smell really good, though. One of Ashton's smells really good. It's, uh... Shit, I can't remember. And it's like his version of one of their... The Jet Black Enigma or something like that. I don't know. It smells really good, but... Christ, you, the scent goes away before you leave the house. That's counterproductive. And when you spend $140 on a fragrance... I'm sorry, when designer fragrances are outperforming, it, maybe, maybe my Mullel's a designer fragrance or something, I don't know. I don't know enough about the company. The only thing I know is that their stuff is just not good. It smells good, this doesn't last. And the note breakdowns make no fucking sense. Like literally, make no sense whatsoever. This right here, I'm just gonna tell you flat out, I can't tell anybody to go buy this. I won't even tell you to get a decant unless you want a good laugh. You want to throw your money away? Go get. If I had decants, I'd decant the whole bottle out right now and just give it away. I won't wear it. Unless I'm going to bed. Or, you know, if I got a shag companion stopping by for the night, I might spray the bed so I don't have to do laundry. <laughs> That's about all it's good for. And it sucks to say that because I really want to support Ashton and his brands and I just can't with this Michael Mullal shit. It literally is garbage. It could smell garbage, but it's garbage. And I don't know where the missing link is. Like, how can you do that bad consistently? It, I don't know, it's frustrating anyway. I don't really have anything good to say, so I really, I just gotta shut up and just bow out of this. Because there's no redeeming factor to it. I can just sit here and every time I wanna try to pull something positive out of my ass, it's just coming out negative because I'm not gonna try to dry sell something because that's not who I am. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. And it don't have to be my kind of scent, but I expect fragrances at this point in 2023 to last more than four hours. I mean, shit. Stuff you can buy at Walmart for $9.96. It has a picture of a mountain in the background that they stole off a shithouse friggin' wallpaper from a 1970s house lasts longer than that. And quite frankly, the eight notes they say are in are actually in it. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what's going on. Zero clue.
And I'd like to know because, again, I have a lot of faith in Ashton and what he does. This does not depict what he is and what he does. And the things he says about fragrances that are just like this and then his like that, that's just it's bizarre. But again, I got to get out of here because I just I don't want to sit here and shit on Ashton stuff anymore. All right. Later, man. See you in the next video.